Welcome to my explanation and showcase of my self-organizing bulk storage in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This is basically a bulk storage that uses binary to assign slices to items automatically. When a slice is filled, it can assign another slice to that item. And when a slice is empty, it can assign that slice to a different item. There are no filters in this thing. It's completely binary encoded, which allows it to have every hop unlocked when not running. Now I'll explain a little bit of how it works. But firstly, uh, this is a concept from Power Power from a few years ago. I'll have his video linked in the description. And also, this is a remappable binary decoder by Prudy. His channel will also be linked in the description. And these comparator lines, which I'll explain what they're for in a minute, uh, these were designed by Kyrie. Uh, his channel and his self-organizing bulk will also be linked in the description. Right, so how does this work? When you put an item in the system, it will come with a binary code because it will come from an item to binary encoder. I made a video on those. Uh, so, currently I've got the binary code in and the item ready to be input, but there are no slices assigned to that item or binary code currently. And this line here can detect that, which will send this piston. When I activate the input, it will use this bottom comparison line to search every slice for the next available slice. This compost has signal strength 2, these have signal strength 1. So any observers that have a free slice will give an output. And that will basically map that slice to that binary code that you currently input. So if I go and flick that lever, it's mapped this first slice to 64, and it has also put the item into the first slice. Of course we're using shocker boxes because using new slices would be extremely slow and not very space efficient. There is also a comparison reader for this dropper, which powers this rail line and prevents the slice from being like affected by this such. Now let's say I want to put a different item in with a different binary code. For example, 32. As you can see, no slice is currently assigned to 32. So, I'm going to put an item in, just going to put such a free slice, slice, the next free slice, the item, the item will make its way to the dropper. Now let's say I fill up one of these slices, I'm going to fill up this first slice here. Just look that up to simulate what these chests being full. If I go and let's say it's full now, this comparator will detect it being full because it notices that this chest is missing it. And that will send a signal all the way over here and it will power this piston, which will permanently lock this hopper and prevent it from taking in any more items. That means that this slice can no longer have any items put into it, and it also unpowers this piston, which will prevent that slice from being detected by this comparison line. But all that means is that the n when you put an item in, it will then search for a new slice because it thinks the first slice of this item is full. Us, there is a shulker box in it. Now let's say I want to take items out. As you can probably tell, there is no player like interaction with this system. You could walk through here and take things out, but that could mess up the system. So uh, I've got an item call function. If I flick this lever, it will search all of the slices with the current binary code 
and the furthest away slice from the input that has that binary code will dispense one item. Currently, I have the first and third slices assigned to this code. So the third slice will give an item, and the second, uh, first slice will not. Let's give it a go. Click the lever. The third slice is dispensed this item. As you can see, it's now empty, but this one is not. Also, it has depowered this rail line, which means that that rail line can be activated with the search, and therefore it can be remapped to a new binary code. This makes it very space efficient, although it is quite laggy when it's running. It is very low lag when it's not running, because every hopper is locked in the entire system. So now, uh, I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much everything. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you found it useful and entertaining. Uh, and see ya.